Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Roach. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be rehousing a few tarantulas into some beautiful enclosures. to say a huge thank you to Primal Fear Tarantulas for sending me all these acrylic enclosures. They are honestly so beautiful and sleek. They are so functional. I'm so excited to use all of them. For today's video, however, I'm only going to be using the two larger ones as I don't have any smaller slings who need to be rehoused. But stick around the channel if you want to see some slings being rehoused into these smaller enclosures. First, I gathered all the materials that I planned to use for these builds, including substrate, botanicals, hardscape, foliage, and more. I started by taking some measurements of the back of the enclosure where I planned to place the background. This is a cork tile. I chose this material for a few reasons. First, it looks quite natural. The rough texture of the cork also makes for a great climbing surface and offers the tarantula multiple places to anchor their web. For the substrate, I'm using this pre-made tarantula mix by Jurassic Reptile Products. The species that will be housed in this enclosure is a terrestrial opportunistic burrower. With that in mind, I filled about three quarters of the enclosure with substrate. I used some cork wood, which will serve as a hide for the tarantula. I also dug a little hole underneath the hide. This will encourage the tarantula to adopt this hide as its burrow. I placed a large yet shallow water dish in the corner of the enclosure. Then I dispersed a few artificial plants as further enrichment and web anchor points. To further enrich this habitat, I scattered some sphagnum moss and some leaf litter on top of the substrate. To tie everything together, I placed a few small branches into the enclosure. All that was left to do was fill the water dish and this enclosure was now ready for its new inhabitant. So the tarantula that will be going into this enclosure is my Monocentropus balfouri, or more commonly known as the Socotra Island Blue Baboon. So this is actually an old world terrestrial species of tarantula. They do have burrowing tendencies, which is why I think this cube enclosure will be perfect. As you can tell, this enclosure is very small. This is actually the enclosure I got it in. It's just a deli cup. I'm very excited to get this tarantula moved into a much nicer enclosure. I have my catch cup on hand here in case we have an escapee. And then I have my rubber coated tongs to nudge this tarantula forward. So I think this should be pretty easy because the enclosure is big enough where I can just put the deli cup right inside. Come on. Ta-da, just like that. Okay, that's an issue. The tarantula is actually kind of coming up the back wall. So I'm gonna try to be proactive here. I'm gonna bring the catch cup on the other side just in case the tarantula decides to run out, but I'm gonna nudge it 
back inside. There we go. That was easy. Right into the hide. Ta-da! Time for the next enclosure build. Once again, I took some measurements for the background, cut a piece of cork tile to the appropriate size, and placed it in the back of the enclosure. For the substrate, I used the same tarantula mix as before. However, this time I also added some play sand since the species that will be housed in this enclosure comes from an arid environment. For the hardscape, I used various pieces of cork wood and tree bark strategically placed around the enclosure to maximize surface area and usable space. I included a few artificial plants to serve as web anchor points and further enrichment for the tarantula. For the water dish, I used a 0.5 ounce plastic cup. I finished it up by adding a few branches and some leaf litter. I filled the water bowl and the habitat is now complete. The tarantula that will be going into this enclosure is my Chromatopelma pubescens, or more commonly known as the green bottle blue tarantula or GBB. This is actually the enclosure and the tarantula that was in my very first YouTube video. This is a new world species of tarantula that is considered a terrestrial and semi-arboreal species. So although this enclosure that it's currently being housed in is still a suitable size, it isn't very tall. So it doesn't allow this tarantula to exhibit those semi-arboreal behaviors. So I'm thinking that by putting it in this enclosure that is tall, it will be able to web up the whole thing and it will just turn into this beautiful display enclosure. Okay, so there's two ways I can do this. I can go from above or from the side. I think it would make more sense to go from the side and attempt to get this tarantula to move into it on its own like that. And since I'm doing it this way, I think I'm actually gonna put the lid on right now, just in case the tarantula decides to bolt upwards. I don't want it coming out of the top. All right, catch cup nearby. I might need it for this one. All right, I'll remove this mold. Yes, yes, good, yes, kicking hairs at me, okay, stop kicking hairs at me and be productive. Yay! Stay in there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 you had the right idea. Go back in there. Yes. Yay! Oh my god. That actually went well. Yay! concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section. Don't forget to check out Primal Fear Tarantulas and I will see you all in my next video.